Hello aviators I welcome you on board flight of captain Vijay in the series of flights to study radio aids for DGCA CPL and ATPL examination Today we will fly through the topic of propagation of radio waves In this video lesson we'll discuss how radio waves travel through space how different frequencies of radio waves behave differently during their journey and physical phenomena like reflection refraction absorption diffraction and attenuation which affect the propagation of radio waves so fasten your seat belts as we are ready for take off in this lesson we would be focusing more on surface waves which travel along the surface of the earth and uses lower frequency bands like vlf lf and mf so what are the basic properties of radio waves it is same as light since light and radio waves both are electromagnetic waves radio waves travel in a straight line in a given medium with constant speed in vacuum they travel with speed of light and when passing from one medium to another the speed and direction of electromagnetic wave changes radio waves are reflected by objects commensurate with their wavelength this point is important and we'll discuss it later when radio waves are transmitted from an antenna it will have certain power or certain strength but as the distance from the transmitter increases the signal strength will keep reducing this happens as per inverse square law so what is inverse square law power from omnidirectional transmitter spreads out in space in spherical shape so as you go away from transmitter the strength of the signal will reduce but the reduction of signal strength is not linear if you stand at double the distance you will receive 1/4 of signal strength and not half so signal strength at a point in space is inversely proportional to square of the range to double the range of a transmitter power will have to be increased four times and you must remember this fact so by now you have understood that signal strength will reduce as we move away from transmitter when radio waves travel in vacuum reduction of signal strength will be only as per inverse square law but when radio waves travel through any medium other than vacuum many other exciting things can happen in its journey they may undergo reflection scattering refraction diffraction absorption and attenuation so many of them and let's see them one by one reflection i think every one of us know very well what is reflection reflection happens when a part of energy is reflected back in the same direction from where the energy was coming you see the reflection in mirror in glass and on water surface radio waves also get reflected back towards the source like light if they are in obstacle or reflecting surface but will reflection happen always with all frequencies no radio waves get reflected when wavelength is equal or smaller than the obstacle so lower wavelength or higher frequency radio waves would be reflected more and would be reflected even from small obstacles this also implies that vlf lf and mf waves are not like to not likely to be reflected much since frequency is low and wavelength is large so to summarize higher the wavelength lower would be reflectivity of radio waves next is scattering scattering is somewhat like reflection but here the reflecting surface is not smooth due to uneven surface reflection happens in multiple directions simultaneously the color of sky appears blue due to scattering of light from earth atmosphere back to space with blue light being the most scattered refraction refraction is bending of radio waves when it travels from one medium to another with a different refractive index an example of refraction are plenty in day to day life swimming pool depth appears shallow pen or pencil in a glass appears bent all these happen due to refraction of light waves diffraction though radio waves are supposed to travel in a straight line 
बट वेन लो फ्रीक्वेंसी और लॉन्ग वेव लेंथ रेडियो वेव्स मीट एन ऑब्स्टिकल इट इनकाउंटर्स डिफ्रैक्शन ड्यू टू डिफ्रैक्शन वेव्स बेंड एंड फॉलो द करवेचर ऑफ अर्थ इट कैन बेंड सो मच दैट ए वी एल एफ सिग्नल कैन गो अराउंड द इंटायर अर्थ सो वॉट इज डिफ्रैक्शन एंड वॉट कॉज इज बेंडिंग इन वेव्स वील अंडरस्टैंड इट विद एन एग्जाम्पल हैव यू एवर सीन ए शैडो यस ऑल ऑफ अस हैव शैडो इज कास्ट बिहाइंड ए ऑब्स्टिकल सिंस लाइट ट्रैवल इन ए स्ट्रेट लाइन एंड के नॉट रीच बिहाइंड एन ऑब्स्टिकल इन इट्स पाथ बट इफ यू नोटिस विद अटेंशन द एजेज ऑफ द शैडो आर नॉट क्रिस्प द एजेज ऑफ शैडो आर नॉट टोटली डार्क देर इज सम फेंट लाइट देयर नियर द एजेज दिस हैपन्स ड्यू टू डिफ्रैक्शन वेन एवर इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक वेव्स हिट कॉर्नर और अपर्चर ऑफ एन ऑब्स्टिकल दैट कॉर्नर और स्लिट becomes the secondary source of transmission of waves now there is a fresh start of a new wave from this point onwards which can again travel spherically outwards due to this waves are seen to be bending around an obstacle and we see faint light near the edges of a shadow and due to this waves bend along the curvature of the earth so will all waves encounter diffraction and bending no larger the wavelength more the bending so lower frequency or higher wavelength waves would bend more and follow contour of earth higher the frequency lesser the diffraction and lesser the bending so vhf and above do not bend around corners and obstacle and follow line of sight absorption when radio waves travel through any medium other than vacuum it induces electric and magnetic field in that medium and loses a part of its energy this is called absorption attenuation attenuation simply means loss of signal strength the soil ground vegetation water bodies all these attenuate the radio waves for surface waves which travel along the surface of the earth higher the frequency higher the attenuation so vhf and above cannot travel along the earth surface they will get attenuated soon and die down low frequency waves face less attenuation hence they can travel large distances along earth surface now between land and sea attenuation is less over sea signals can travel longer over sea as compared to land if signal is vertically polarized that is electric field is vertical there is less attenuation so surface wave signals are vertically polarized static interference there is a large amount of static electricity generated in atmosphere by weather human activity and geological activity and the effect of static interference is greater at lower frequency and at vhf and above the effect of in static interference is negligible a static from whatever source it is reduces the clarity of communication and accuracy of navigation systems surface waves as the name suggest these waves travel along the surface of earth due to diffraction these waves bend and due to due to attenuation waves lose its strength and tilt only vlf lf and hf are capable of traveling along surface of the earth this is due to the fact that as the frequency increases surface attenuation increases and waves cannot travel long distances surface wave is the primary propagation path used in lower frequency bands up to hf space waves the space waves are waves which do not travel along the surface of the earth they are transmitted upwards they may be made up of two paths one is direct wave and the other could be a ground reflected wave at frequency of vhf and above radio waves start to behave more like visible light and as we have visual horizon with light we have a radio horizon with the radio frequencies so the only atmospheric propagation at these frequencies is line of sight since the propagation is line of sight the distance at which the signal can be received would depend on the height of transmitter and receiver at vhf and above it does not matter how powerful the transmitter is if the receiver is below the line of sight range it will receive nothing and the formula for vhf signal range is as shown on the screen 
in this formula height is in feet and the range you will get in nautical mile and you should remember this formula for examination secondly if height of receiver is not given then the signal will only travel up to radio horizon and the formula for radio horizon is as shown on the screen in this formula height of transmitter is in feet and range you would get in nautical mile remember this formula also for the purpose of exam surface waves and space waves together are sometimes described as ground waves in some books now let's discuss the application of lower frequency bands in aviation since low frequency travel large distances along the earth surface they encounter obstacles absorption and attenuation which reduces the strength of the signal so you have to pump in a very large transmission power next is that ideal antenna size for transmission and reception is half the wavelength so antenna size would be large so we can fix this transmitting and receiving antenna on ground only and it is very difficult to mount it on an aeroplane another disadvantage of low frequency is that static is large in low frequencies the signal is not clean it is muddy ndb uses lf and mf band ranges of surface waves in different frequency bands are as shown on the screen using vlf you can get thousands of nautical mile low frequency can give you 1500 nautical mile medium frequency 300 to 500 nautical mile and hf using surface waves you can get 70 to 100 nautical mile so in this video we have covered the fundamentals of radio wave propagation and properties of surface waves which uses lower frequency bands with this we have arrived at our destination subscribe the channel for more such informative videos on aviation like share subscribe if you wish comment on the section below if you have any question or query so hope to see you on board again for the next flight until then happy landings